I've made it no secret that I expect Princess Peach Showtime to be my game of the year. Like, that's the game I had the most fun with. That was the game that I thought had the most interesting ideas, the best visuals, the best gameplay, uh, the best protagonist, right? Like, I loved Princess Peach Showtime, and I think The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom will be a pretty solid second. But as it stands right now, the only game that I think might actually topple those masterpieces is Mario and Luigi Brothership. And it really is because, at my core, I am a huge, 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 huge fan of Mario and Luigi. I adored the first game on the Game Boy Advance. It was one of my favorite games ever for a long time. I played it to death, played through it several times. Uh, I was heartbroken when my cartridge broke for whatever reason, and I was never able to get another copy, right? I eventually had to get the Wii U version, and then I played it again on the NSO, right? Like, again, it's uh, it's a game that I've, uh, one of those games that I was not able to play for a good portion of my childhood. So coming back to it over and over and over again, it really just feels like one of those Super Nintendo classics that you can just come back to over and over and over again. I'm not nearly as attached to any of the sequels, though. Like, I think a lot of them make a lot of critical mistakes, and they don't really hit the same vibe that the original did with its creativity, with its storytelling, with its unique mechanics. Like, I think the first Superstar Saga was absolutely peak Mario and Luigi, one of the best Mario RPGs ever made, one of the all-time greats. I think, going by what I've seen from Brothership, I think this might be the game to finally top that for me. You know, there were Mario and Luigi games that were technically better than Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, but I think Brothership is going to be the one that really, really emphasizes that this is an RPG series to be feared, right? This is going to establish the brand, not as some, like, interesting sideshow, but as a major tentpole Nintendo franchise. This is the hardcore Mario thing. This is Mario and Luigi at their absolute peak. You know, fighting all these crazy monsters, utilizing all these crazy all these crazy moves, doing everything they possibly can to uh to defeat the antagonist and bring peace to the world, to bring peace to Concordia. They are Mario and Luigi and what we've been seeing from this gameplay footage is a real testament to just how things have changed since Dream Team. Like, when Dream Team came out, like, I was, I didn't really like the models. I thought they were uh, not as interesting as the sprite work. Uh, they just felt like the same thing, not upgraded enough, right? Like, at the time, like, Alpha Dream was going through some budgetary issues, and they eventually went bankrupt. So, Dream Team and, and Paper Jam had a lot of weird visual app visual aspects to them, uh, and especially the remakes. They just felt like they couldn't really make make a whole lot of changes, like to, uh, to the way characters look or whatever. They were limited in what they could do. With this one, it feels the exact opposite. Characters are insanely expressive. You have all this varied locations and all these great designs, all these wild bros attacks, you know, great animations in and outside of combat, brand new, like, uh, field moves, right? Like, all, all these really interesting environments. Like, again, one of my big complaints about Mario and Luigi over the years, the environments are not interesting, right? You know, that was a big thing, I, uh, the big reason why I preferred Paper Mario, in a lot of sense, uh, in a sense, was because, like, the environments and the dungeons were so much more interesting, at least in the first game. With, uh, with this one, with all, with the island system and the sailing around and everything you're doing, like, to me, it looks as if the environments are the best they've ever been. With all these interesting locations, entire cities, all these really cool environments, lots of cool puzzles, right? To me, like, uh, you know, there, there's a sequence where you see, like, Mario and Luigi, like, teaming up and throw fi throwing fire and ice balls everywhere. And I'm just like, does that tie into one of the level themes because i remember seeing in one of these trailers that there was a an island that was filled with like fire and ice you know like freeze frame galaxy and i was just so excited by the possibility and i was excited about a location in a mario and luigi game that's so like mind-blowing for me because like for too long we've been like walking through these like 
desolate, empty hallways that all look the same, right? Uh, dreamy Bowser Castle that gives me nightmares with how long it takes to, like, just go up of it. it. It feels so drawn out and so boring. Like, but this game seems to be fixing all those problems. Like, it seems like it's taking everything good about Mario the Luigi and really evolving it to the point where I honestly think this game has the potential to really be a standout title this year. You know, like, I think a lot of people think this is a down year for Nintendo. I disagree. I think Mario Party is going to be super successful. You know, a huge, huge, huge seller. You know, these games sell like 20 million units. They're huge. Uh, Mario Party is going to do really well. But I think Mario & Luigi has the capacity to be the best-selling Mario RPG ever. You know, far outstripping, you know, the woke Thousand Year Door remake, far outstripping Super Mario RPG remake. Like, I think Brothership has absolutely has a shot at establishing itself as this huge, huge, like, uh, cult classic on Switch. You know, like, I'm really, really interested in just seeing how well this thing actually does and how how fired up people get about it. Like, again, looking at these trailers, I find myself just just baffled by everything we're seeing. It's just so wild and so creative. Like, you know, I haven't been so fired up about a Mario and Luigi game since I think Bowser's Inside Story. You know? Like, this is the most hyped I've been about the series in over a decade. And I can't begin to tell you just how happy that makes me, how happy I am to see that the... the, uh, the the team has like reestablished itself that the series is back on the table that we are going to get more games going forward, hopefully. And, um, that this game is being made. Like, this is something that, um, I have been predicting for a long time. I actually said during my, uh, direct prediction video this year that I did expect Mario and Luigi to be shown. And I was proven like a hundred percent right on that. Like completely out of nowhere. I was right. I called it. And, uh, yeah, I couldn't be happier. I really, really do think this game is going to be an absolute banger. It remains to be seen whether it's going to be better than Zelda or Peach, but, you know, those games are bangers too. So this game, I think, is guaranteed to be in the top three, at least. I mean, we'll have to see. Um, it's been a, there's a pretty stiff competition, not going to lie, for the, the top spot. So we'll have to see if this game is going to crack the top uh uh, how high it's going to rank this year in the Mario Awards show, but I really hope you tune in to watch that. I really hope you uh, you tune in to watch my review when I uh, when I review Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, like uh, Mario and Luigi Brothership. Like I uh, hope this game does well and people are excited for it. This is definitely one of the big big surprises of the year and one that I wish more people would get excited for and talk about.